In the age of fake news, only one may be a shining beacon of truth. My name is Very Fire, and you're watching the Daily Demon's Occasional Report. Occasional stories you care about. Let's start from zero. Loyal viewers of Manic 648 were devastated last night when the popular Twitch streamer cut his live feed short, as his mother barged into his room late at night and told him to shut the fuck up, and go to bed already. The streamer had been working on verifying Pleb Kingdom's newest level when he was forced to end his stream, much to the dismay of his viewers. Our on-website reporter Arkitty has more to share with us. Thanks, Barry. As can be seen from the reconstructed VOD of the stream, his mother comes in and tells him to Shut the fuck up and go to bed. Threatening that if he quote doesn't behave like a good son would, she would quote Delete all your copies of pussy on Z. This was incentive enough for Mannix to leave over 300 viewers hanging as he turned off his stream. Viewers are heartbroken, with one saying, come on bruh, feels bad man, sad pay pay bible thump bible thump, and another saying, Mannix I love you, please play my new level, 2160484. Thank you our kitty. Let's move on to the next demon. Violent protests have emerged following the placement of the new mega collab Blood Hell Redux over Death Wave X an age-old classic level, on the official unofficial demon list. Whether or not you think this outcry is justified, you'll have to see for yourself. We have our reporter Steve Austin on the field, he will take it from here. Thank you Verifier. As you can clearly see, these riots are not calming down anytime soon, as the crowd has already burned down effigies of several demon list editors, and are demanding for Deathwave X to be moved back up. Blood Hell Redux is a mega collab that was just released and promptly raided last week, but many of the protesters think it is severely overrated, backing these claims with facts such as Blood Hell Redux being shorter than Death Wave X, and it taking less attempts on initial practice mode clear. Let's see if we can get another point of view... You there! You seem like an experienced player. What's your name? Uh, my name is Ed Swish. Subscribe to me on www. Yes, thank you. And what's your opinion on the recent controversial demon list activity? Oh, you mean the HR and D-Wave X? Well, I honestly believe that D-Wave X is probably the most underrated extreme demon on the list right now, it should go up at least 30 places, to at least above the eternal sacrifice. Believe me, the 1500 attempts I've spent beating along levels such as D-Wave X are the same as spending at least 10,000 attempts on any other average length extreme demon. Wow, that is quite the strong opinion. And everyone can be sure that, since you are a well-respected player, you have the list's best intentions in mind, and aren't simply looking for a quick and easy way to get more demon list points? Oh, um, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. As you heard, many people have voiced their strong opinions on the placement. Oh. It looks like the demon list headquarters has begun sending out riot police to defuse the crowd, and it's quickly turning into an absolute bloodbath. I sure am scared for my dear life. Back to you, Verifier. We have just received a new story from the HQ. Rumors have surfaced that at 6.15 this morning, little Jeff woke up and quickly got prepared for school just to play the nightmare all morning, even leaving his bowl of cinnamon toast crunch half full. He had been putting attempts in that morning and through the entire car ride to school, and it was quite unfortunate when he only started getting far while he was in the car drop-off line. Jeff's mother reportedly kept asking for her damn iPad back, which was met with much resistance. While the two bickered, Jeff mistapped and died at 88%, causing him to hand over the iPad in a state of defeat and snotty crying. When we asked his peers at school, one friend said that he had beaten the nightmare a week ago, and that he was going to go sit by Fred at lunch, who had beaten Clubstep the day before. Three demons in a row baby, I'm on a roll. Let's move on to the next. We have received reports that popular moderator ARB70713 is in the emergency room following an incident in a local McDonald's. First responders say they found him unconscious after he allegedly ate photographs of every employee at the restaurant in an attempt to get hired. The fault has the report on site. Yes, as the current situation stands, doctors are working on ensuring he is in a safe enough condition to be discharged. A radiography showed a large lump of paper in the moderator's stomach blocking his intestines, and the lead doctor we spoke to said that, quote, We think that the abnormally large deposits of paper in his stomach 
might have been caused by the rapid ingestion of McDonald's employee pictures. However, as of now, this is an unconfirmed claim that will need further investigation. Fascinating. Do you have any statements from Arb himself? We managed to retrieve a statement from Arb before he was sent off to the emergency operating room. From what we could decipher from his slurred ramblings, Arb does not feel remorse for his deed, claiming it was, quote, objectively epic. When told that McDonald's in question did not hire him, the moderator went into a catatonic state and fell into unconsciousness just after claiming that he would, quote, do the same at Anabi's as it was, quote, only fitting. Truly amazing. And we can only hope the next thing he eats is his words. Moving on. On a more somber note, a local Geometry Dash player has decided to quit for the third time this week. After leaving an emotional post about the declining state of the game that has garnered three dislikes, and saving his progress, he has uninstalled the game from his computer. When asked for further comment, he responded, 1.9 was the golden age of Geometry Dash. Every update since has been utter shit and you should feel bad. He has not yet removed the game from his phone. Further research into the situation revealed a 12-minute YouTube video uploaded by the player, containing footage of him losing multiple games of Minecraft Bedwars and talking about various personal issues he had with the game. It garnered an astonishing 32 views and 3 dislikes. In the comments, a friend left a message about his departure, saying you never finished your fucking collab part you shitwad. Our team is investigating if this quitting is linked to last week's incident, where the exact same events happened in the same order. The player also appears to have unlisted a video from last Sunday in which he promised he would come back for real, and make up for his past mistakes. What do you mean he's come back already? Listen. I'm getting far, I have to wrap this up. And 5 demons have been verified. Coming up next, we speak to Pows to disprove allegations of Rob Top getting a real fucking job, stay tuned. <laughs>